All right, we are here with Scooter Christensen of the Harlem Globetrotters who are coming to Vancouver's Pacific Coliseum this month. Uh, Scooter, tell me about the Spread Game Tour. I understand this is your first tour since the start of the pandemic. That's right. Uh, it, well, it's called the Spread Game Tour because we're actually, not only are we spreading game on the court with uh, shooting fours and doing some crazy crossovers and dunks and stuff, you know, we're also spreading game off the court too. And we're just giving people joy, you know, giving people smiles, you know, even if, if you, uh, if you see us in the game, you know, we're doing something funny to make you laugh. You know, if you're not in the game, we're sitting on the bench and getting that person behind us trying to make them smile. And that's what it's all about, just giving joy back to the fans. And we can certainly uh, use a bit of that these days, huh? For sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. And uh, how did the Globetrotters uh, weather the lockdown? Was it tough to be out of action so long? Uh, what about for, for you personally, Scooter? Yeah, it, it was very tough, actually. Um, you know, uh, I know some of us players got together on the phone and, we were like, man, if this, if the world needs the Globetrotters right now, man, you know, because in everybody's going through personal stuff, personal losses, you know, in their family and, you know, just kind of down in the dumpsters, man, you know, and what, what better way to do what we do best is give people smiles, you know, and me personally, you know, I was uh, quarantined with my, with my, with my parents, at, luckily at the time and, you know, couldn't go anywhere, but what we did, uh, you know, socially, you know, I think we all kind of put our heads together and, we came up with like a little video, you know, things that we were doing at home just to keep people positive. You know, I, I, I did some stuff, did, did a couple of workouts with my kids and had to keep the kids active and all that stuff, man. And, you know, did a couple of tricks here and there just to make people smile. So we were doing all trying to be innovative and trying to keep 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 people's spirits up. And I think we did a fairly good job, but we're happy right now that we're on tour. We're going to be there January 26th at the Pacific Coliseum. Uh, also, we're going to be in the Abspurt Center on uh, on the 30th as well at 3 p.m. So you got a couple of chances to come check out the Spread Game Tour. All right, all right. I didn't even know about the Abbotsford date. That's, yeah, uh, that's yeah, very good. Sure. Uh, of course, here in BC, we are under public health capacity restrictions. So uh, uh, both at the Coliseum and out in Abbotsford, you'll be playing to half a house uh, at best. Uh, does that change uh, your approach and how you do this at all? No, not at all. I mean... Um, I played in front of, uh, I remember, I can't remember overseas where I was at overseas, but I remember playing for one, uh, a crowd that had just one half, one half of the, the arena, the other half was empty. And I tell you what, we gave that same energy and it was like one of our best games because you think you're coming out, you're going to see a full arena. And it's like, man, you know, it was just one of those games that, you know, but for the people that didn't come, they, they surely missed out because the people that were there had an absolutely good time, you know? So, but our, our energy is going to be the same. Um, and we just, we're giving smiles, man. And I think, I think that's what the world needs right now. Uh, what can folks expect when the spread game tour touches down uh, locally then? Well, you know, we got it. We added a lot of new elements to the game. You know, I don't want to give away the magic, but, uh, but uh, also, but um we got, we still got the, the four point shot, which is like 30, 35 feet away from the rim, you know, Steph Curry range and beyond. We got that, you know, we get, you're going to see some crazy crossovers. Somebody's ankles are going to get broke. You know, um, you know, we got a guy on the mic who's going to be entertaining the crowd, high fives. He might take your popcorn, steal your drink. You never know what's going to happen at a glow charter game. But, you know, I always tell people this, if you ever come to a glow charter game, you never remember the score. You always remember going home, laughing, smiling, have a good time. I tell people, don't worry about the score. We're going to win. We're going to win. Don't worry about that. But you're going to remember having a good time. That's for sure. Be more notable if you guys lost a game. Oh, and it won't happen. You know what? The last time we lost was in 1971. And okay. none, of us was, none of us was born. So our record is good, man. <laughs> I was looking it up. You and I are the same age, but uh, you were right. much better shape. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> say the least. Uh, hey, we got something say. in common, though. We got something in common. There you go. Uh, of course, uh, the Globetrotters known for their finesse on the court with the basketball specifically, right. and you personally hold two Guinness World Records. Tell me about those. Yes, I I'm in the Guinness World Record for the longest of spinning a basketball on my on my nose for like seven point seven seconds. Um, I remember the first time I did it, I was just like, this is, this is crazy. And then I had the opportunity to do it again. And it just, I just kept getting better and better at it. So it's, it's one of the tricks that the kids definitely love, you know? Um, but uh, it's, I, I tell them, they say, you make it look easy. I'm like, well, you, you didn't see all the nose burns and bleeds it took for me to get there, but, but uh, the kids enjoy it. So it's just pretty cool. All right. Uh, Scooter, once more, uh, where and when can the, can the folks see you? 
uh, at the Pacific Coliseum in Vancouver, January 26, 7 p.m. Also in Absur Abbotsford Center, January 30th at 3 p.m. So you got a couple of chances to check us out. You can check out our tour dates at our HarlemGoldCharters.com. Come check us out. It's going to be fun. We're spreading game. All right. Spreading game indeed. Scooter Christensen with the Harlem Globetrotters. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me, man. Cheers.